All right, quick video today, guys. Another one in the series of how can we add more battery to the smaller solar generators. A lot of people have been asking this in all our videos because we always tend to uh, concentrate on the bigger units, right? The EcoFlow Pro, uh, Delta Pro, the Max, the AC200 and 200P, and all those other bigger ones. But what about the smaller ones like the River? right, EcoFlow River or the R600. I think this is the same unit. This was just a, like a pre-production unit and I, I don't think this made it to the market, but it's, it's almost the exact same unit. It's got slight differences, but we're just gonna use it as the same, just in case that you did, were able to get this one or whatever, they're interchangeable, right? So how do you add battery to these? I know this one has a port to add a battery so you can get their battery, right? A battery extension. But if you wanted to do it uh, for less money, then you can DIY your own version. Now, if you had this one, this one didn't have the port to add external battery, but we are going to add battery to it. And let me show you how to do it. So these batteries here are 371 hours. They are 16 volts, right? So if, when you look into the input, solar input here, it's uh, up to 25 volts, 10 amps max. So they're within the uh, voltage to charge this through the solar port, right? So these are $49, right? You can get one or two or three or more because we make this little uh, power, uh, power strip that you can add a bunch of them in here, right? So you could just keep adding and then it'll have way more battery and it'll charge. But it'll charge at a max of, uh, what is this, 10 amps. So you connect it here, right? So you connect these three to this. And then from here, I'm just using like a little extension cord. It's an XT60 to an XT90. You can find all this stuff in Amazon. And here we go. It's starting to charge. And there we go, it's charging at 156 watts. Is that the max that we'll do? Yeah, because of the 25 uh, volts, then that's about probably the max that it will do. If you do the math, uh, 10 amps at 25, yeah, that's right. So there you go, this will keep charging. Uh, this thing and it'll charge way more I think because right this is like a 500 watt hour uh, device and these ones have 370 each so you're adding almost two and a half times more battery with three of these right now how do you charge these well we make this uh, you can order we make this little thing to check the voltage while you're charging it and this you can find this in jack 35 right and then this, you can find on Amazon, I'll link this, it's just an 18 watt, 18 volt, two amp um, charger for these. And so you'll need this guy to convert this, you know, this connector to this connector, which is what you'll use to charge these ones. And yeah, you'll have to charge one at a time. Now, there's also another way that you can just change this connector to an XT90 and then you can charge all your batteries at the same time. It'll just take way longer, right? And you can even get a bigger one if you want it to, right? More than two amps, so you can charge them faster. But yeah, this is all DIY. So there's a lot of versions. There's a lot of variables that you can do to make this system bigger or smaller or faster. But at the, but at the end of the day, 10 amps at 25 volts, that is the max that this will, little unit will take, right? So this is probably the right size for a little system like this. For about $100, you can uh, about double the capacity of your R600 or your river, right? Um, and so you could do that for a lot less money than you can buy the external batteries from EcoFlow. So there you go. This is just one quick way that you can do this. Uh, with this unit. And by the way, you could do this with any solar charge, solar generator that the voltage is between 16, 10 and 25 volts, right? If your solar generator is higher voltage, then we have some other types of batteries that like sort of like this one's here that will do anything 
that is below 50, right between 30 and 50 volts, then uh, like those, all the bigger ones, accept that all the way up to 150 volts on some of them. And so then you can use um, those other batteries for that. But for these little ones that go all the way that the max is 25 volts, then these are perfect 16 volt uh, battery packs. So there you go, another DIY project. So you can add more battery to your solar generator. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.